Welcome to the Investor News. In this video, we bring you the most discussed topic about today's current situation and its main consequences for the economy. We are living in a period of mass Jonestown economic delusion. Just 20 months ago, central bankers were offering to buy nearly every junk bond known to mankind, dramatically distorting the true cost of capital. All the way from crypto to emerging markets, it was a moral hazard overdose. Everyone on earth was borrowing money at Fantasyland bond yields. Now, the Fed is promising endless rate hikes and $1 trillion of balance sheet reduction onto a planet with emerging market and Eurozone credit markets in flames. The current Fed agenda is sheer madness and will be outed very soon. The true cost of capital was distorted for so long, we now have hundreds of academics clueless to the underlying serpent inside global markets. When the 6 foot 7, Paul Volcker walked the halls of the Mariner S. Eccles Building of the Federal Reserve Board in Washington, our planet embraced about $200 trillion less debt than we are staring down the barrel at today. Please call out the risk management imbeciles that make any reference to Powell to Volcker. In 2021, global debt reached a record $303 trillion, according to the Institute of International Finance, a global financial industry association. This is a further jump from record global debt in 2019 of $226 trillion, as reported by the IMF in its global debt database. Volcker was jacking rates into a planet with about $200 trillion less debt. Please call out the risk management imbeciles that make any reference of Powell to Volcker. Many economists in 2022 are highly delusional, a very dangerous group indeed. When you hike rates aggressively with a strong dollar you multiply interest rate risk, which was already off the charts coming from such a low 2020 base in terms of yield, it's a convexity nightmare. Interest rate hikes today, hand in hand with a strong US dollar, carry 100x the destructive power than the Carter, Reagan era. At the same time, you add lighter fluid onto the credit risk fire in emerging markets with a raging greenback. Global banks have to mark to market most of these assets. If global rates reset higher and stay at elevated levels, the sovereign debt pile is in grave danger. The response to Lehman and COVID crisis squared has left a mathematically unsustainable bill for follow-on generations. The Fed cannot hike rates aggressively into this mess without blowing up the global economy. We are talking about mass, Jonestown delusion on roids. Then COVID-19 placed a colossal leverage cocktail on top. Emerging and frontier market countries currently owe the IMF over $100 billion. U.S. central banking policy plus a strong USD is vaporizing this capital as we speak. A dollar screaming higher with agricultural commodities, priced globally in dollars, is a colossal tax on emerging market countries, clueless academics at the Fed are exporting inflation into countries that can least afford it. Emerging, and Frontier market countries owe the IMF over $100 billion, U.S. central banking policy, strong USD, is vaporizing this capital. Before we continue, help us clicking that YouTube like button and subscribe now to our channel. This shows the algorithm that you valued this information. And it helps us spread that message. Sharing is caring. And now, let's continue. A quarter trillion dollars of distressed debt is threatening to drag the developing world into a historic cascade of defaults. The number of developing nations trading distressed has doubled, with El Salvador, Ghana, Egypt, Tunisia and Pakistan appearing particularly vulnerable. With the low-income countries, debt risks and debt crises are not hypothetical, try buying oil in USD in an M currency. A fifth, or about 17%, of the $1.4 trillion emerging market sovereigns have outstanding and external debt denominated in dollars, euros or yen, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. Academics at the Fed are exporting inflation into countries that can least afford it, decimating communities all over the planet. The tragedies are piling up. While given cover from their well-placed collection of pawns, tough guy Powell is playing his Volcker act, right out of a scene in a poor man's poker game. In terms of who s actually running the show, emerging market bonds are plunging 10 points a week and Powell wants you to think he's got pocket kings. Truth is, the global credit risk dynamic has the aces, and the Fed is looking down at pocket twos, if that. The IMF has total lending capacity near $1 trillion, Powell is currently wiping out 10% of that. Ultimately, this lost tribe will be coming back, hat in hand, yet again to the US taxpayer. So now we have global bank balance sheets, stressed by $20 trillion to $30 trillion in mark-to-market losses from equities, treasuries, European government bonds, crypto, private equity and venture capital, in the middle of the worst emerging market credit crisis in decades. All after just 150 bits per second of rate hikes from the Fed? 
Hello? Anyone home? There are a lot of bonds that look like this. Oh, by the way, Egypt owes the IMF $13 billion, the Fed just lit these liabilities on fire. If the Fed keeps its policy path promises, take the tragedy in Sri Lanka and multiply it by 10 across the globe over the next six months. Checkmate FOMC. I have bad news for you. If you're not rich by now, you're screwed. And if you're in debt, you're even double screwed. How so, you might wonder. Well, the sad truth is that you're working your whole life to make someone else rich. The mega corporations, the banks, the politicians, everyone is getting richer. They get your money. And what is even worse, they get your time, they get your life. You are not even in a rat race, you're in a financial prison. But what could a solution for you look like? Honestly, I don't know, but I know what a solution for me would look like. It's very simple. I use whatever money I have and I multiply it with 1,000. This could make my life much easier and probably yours as well. If you have $1,000 available and multiply this with 1,000, I believe that this could solve some financial issue for the one or the other. Of course, if you're ugly, you would have to multiply it with much more than 1,000. My name is Marco Stan, and this is what I decided to do. I decided to 1,000x my money. This is not a joke. I know what you may be thinking. You know, what, what, what is this guy talking about? You know, how should this work? This is not possible. Well, I made a detailed video where I laid out my plan. And some clever folks might even want to look at this plan and copy it and do exactly what I do. This is just a little hint on the side. You have two options. You leave, you forget what you have seen. You do whatever you're doing and you hope that somehow you get some other results. Good luck with that. Or you click the link below the video. You enter your email address because I'm not showing this to everybody. You at least watch my video on how I plan to 1000x my money. The choice is yours. Make the right choice. Join me. See what a different future you could have. See at least how I intend, how I plan to do the 1000x. So click on the link below, enter your email address, and I see you on the other side. Your Marco Stan.